Hey, doctor. Hello, Peter. I'll be just a minute. Wow. Look at all this new stuff. Doc working on with this. Beautiful. Looks like another potential prosthetic contact material. Hydrogel IPN. This looks promising. Bet it'd be a great tissue interface. Hmm, what was Doc working on with this? Great conductivity. Not sure about long-term wear and tear, though. Might delaminate easily. Doc was testing the biocompatibility of graphene. Not great. Pretty high cytotoxicity. Not sure I'd use this as tissue interface. Running tests on carbon nanotube biocompatibility. Decent candidate for a direct tissue interface, but I feel like we can do better. Hmm, graphene. But the structure is super unique. What is this? Awesome! It's been nano-latticed. Wow, that's strong. Could be a great structural element for a prosthetic.
Doc's messing around with superconductors. Very cool. Complex oxide ceramic. Perfect type 2 superconductor. It'll run hot, but maybe good for an outboard controller? Some kind of polymer. Self-healing polymer. This stuff will survive almost anything. Parker, we've been focused on limb replacement. Connecting nerves at severed extremities, replicating the function of lost appendages. But what if instead... We gave people something they've never seen. Something straight from the mind. Unchain all of us from the bodies we've been born with, and instead, unleash the awesome power of our minds. Today's the day. Grant review. We're ready. The work has progressed at a remarkable pace. I honestly never thought we'd get the tensile actuator back to an acceptable tolerance. But Parker, the boy has an eye for guerrilla science like none other. Damn it! Why do I keep repeating- Ugh. How do you know we lost our grant money? Just taste the new coffee. Lots of late nights in this lab. Glad Doc keeps the snacks stocked up. We should get more of those little cheese squares, though. We really need to get better about organizing our workspace. Our first volunteer subject, Lance Corporal Texador. Lost his arm overseas and now just wants to hug his daughter again.
Where did you get all this equipment? Called in every last favor. Took out a few loans. It's like we're starting over once again. But this time's going to be different. You've been busy. Just getting started. You know, until now, we've been looking at prosthetics from the wrong perspective. Why restore people to what they were when we can make them better? Okay, I think that should do it. You ready? Everything okay? Damn it! This is all your fault, Norman, you son of a... Well, I know who you're not voting for in the next election. Sorry. I uh, have a habit of making bad jokes in tense situations. <laughs> uh, it was a good joke, Parker. Just a bit of an overreaction on my part. No, don't worry. Uh, why don't you take a break? I'll, uh, I'll clean this up and uh, get us ready for another test. So, uh, hope you don't mind me asking, but it seems you and Norman have a bit of a history. We were lab partners in college. Became friends. Decided to start a business. We both had visions of changing the world just in different ways. Wait, you were at Oscorp when it started? I'm half the reason it's called Oscorp. In grad school, everyone called us the O's. <sighs> Add Corp to that and, well, it is a catchy name. Well, why'd you leave? Norman became more and more obsessed with genetics. He started a project I considered unethical. And there was this... Anyway, lawyers got involved. I chose to leave in exchange for a settlement. But that money didn't last very long. I've relied on grants ever since. If this project doesn't work... Don't worry. It'll work. Uh, let, me, let me just fix this up. I'll brew some fresh coffee. Be sure to run a diet. Oh, why don't you do the honors this time? I think we did it. 
Next step, neural interface. That's a lot of work for you to do by yourself. Sure you can handle it? Apparently not, judging by today's debacle. Because I still haven't found another job. My funds are still... I know. It's okay. Don't worry, I'll figure it out. What's a few bucks when you're trying to change the world, right? To changing the world. Missed call from MJ. Doctor, I need to go, but I'll be back later. Don't worry, the work will still be here when you get back. What's that? Hey, sorry I missed your call. Are you still on for dinner? Dinner? Oh, yeah. I was calling you about something else, but yeah, we should talk over dinner. Offer still stands for me to come over and cook. Oh, really? Well, I like to take risks. I'm still out, but I'll grab some stuff at the store and let you know when I'm home. Okay, talk soon. All right, dinner at MJ's. No expectations. It'd be hard to screw this one up. Guess I'll just freelance for a while until she calls. Something we can help Oops. you with, Spider-Man. You are not gonna believe what happened. So you know that address you gave me? I went there. MJ. I know, I know, but wait. What is this? Just listen. This is the address Pete found. Men are all carrying firearms. What is this place? That office. Might be something inside that connects this to Lee. Need to get back there. Huh? What was that? What dumbass can't put their shit away? Bet it was happy. Almost shot a rat. Martin Lee's really paying the boss? Yeah. We build this war beast for Lee, and he finances the boss's new venture. Need to get into that office. Well, you better clean your slag off that sloppy well. Fuck. Hey. What are they building? Is this all for Lee? So what's the boss doing with the money from this Legion? What are they building? Is this all for Lee? Careful. You tried any yet? Vehicle needs tires this big. Where is it? I swear I left it over here.
Someone there? What is this? Some kind of military hardware? Hey, anyone pick up more beer after our last run? <sighs> Getting jumpy. Office must be to my right. Need to move careful through here. Those barrels seem important. Alchemax. Why is that so familiar? What's in these? Boss, come on! We'll never notice! Tombstone. You're right, Rick. Uh, won't notice? Because uh, it won't be there. Stones, Rick. <laughs> Let's see if they break. Such a disappointment. is what they're building for Lee. But why does he need an armored vehicle? There must be something else in this office. Here we go. GPS trackers. What is Tombstone using these for? All right, boys. Time to move. Get the gear for my office. Time to go. Okay, I want to say don't ever do that again, but since I know you're going to anyway, here. Take a few of those next time. Nice. Thanks. You know Tombstone is crazy and pretty much invincible, right? Everybody has their weakness. Mine is... whatever you're cooking right now. <laughs> it smells amazing. The chicken curry. Uh, just needs some time to simmer. No dumplings, I hope. You're never gonna let me live that one down, are you? Nope. <laughs> the Great Dumpling Catastrophe. I still can't believe they evacuated the entire building. I know, and in January, too. <laughs> Your neighbors hated me. Yeah, they were pretty happy when we broke up. <laughs> yeah. So, let's talk about what you found in Lee's office. Well, Lee clearly has issues with Norman Osborn. Yeah, but, but why? I don't know yet. But his next move looks like it involves Devil's Breath, whatever that is. Yeah, I'll dig into it. So I was thinking, what if we teamed up? What, what, you want to be my sidekick? Like a spider girl? Spider woman. No. Woman. No, not a sidekick. A partner. Oh. Not again. Ah. Hey, it's your crime system thingy. Looks like a residential break-in. <laughs> Charles Standish. Hmm, that sounds familiar. Oh, Oscorp CFO. Wait, 
you don't think this has anything to do with Lee, do you? Sorry to cook and run. Did, did you just leave your clothes on the kitchen floor? Uh... Where, where do you want me to, uh... Just, the couch is fine. <laughs> uh, see you later? Yeah. Hey, it's me. This curry is legit. So what do we know about Charles Standish? Let's see. Chief Financial Officer at Oscorp. Single. Known for his art collection. If Lee's after him, it's gotta be related to Devil's Breath. I'll run a search on everything in that file. Let me know the second you find something. I think Lee might be planning something even worse than City Hall. So, are we partners now? Cause it sure feels like we are. Partners? Uh, sounds good. Okay. See ya, partner. Police look like they could use some help. There's probably more of them inside. You guys stay here. Somebody was in a hurry. Spider-Man! You're hurt. I'm okay. But you gotta find Mr. Standish, fast. Those guys in the masks kidnapped him and forced him up to his place. He lives in the penthouse, top floor. Okay, sit tight. So glad you're here. I can't find my car. Could have sworn I parked on this level. here too? This building is serious about parking enforcement.
Good fight. A for effort. Elevator won't work. They know I'm here. But maybe I can sneak up through the elevator shaft. Should be able to make it up to the penthouse from here. I may flash it. Touch it now. Looks like I'm clear. Okay, almost there. Stay out of the light. Building. Fire bombs? Seriously? Uh oh! Not good. There's Standish. Okay, now what? Enter your password. He sounds nervous. Maybe I should take him out.
sleep it off. Literally didn't see that coming. Okay, all clear. Hope Standish is all right. Let's try this again. It's safe now. What were they after? Just financial records. About Devil's Breath? How do you know about that? Why do they want it? I don't even know what it is. Mr. Osborne's been pouring money into it for years, but he keeps the whole project a secret. I'm the only one who has any record of it. Not anymore. Looks like they copied some records to a secure server. Payroll information. On a Dr. Isaac Delaney. Who is he? I, I honestly don't know. Down! <laughs> Come on, come on! Wait, the elevator! <gasps> Hold on! I almost got him! Try to fall slower! You okay? Yeah. I think so. Good. Good. You know, as elevator shafts go, this is pretty nice. <laughs> hey, Yuri. You okay? Yeah. But I didn't get much out of Standish before these Sable guys stepped in and told me to back off. What's the deal? I get the sense all they care about is keeping him quiet. Because he knows about Devil's Breath. Right. Whatever the hell that is. I'm working on that. I think I just got a lead. A lead? You sound like a cop. Don't you mean... Spider Cop? Uh, Yuri? That's fair. He's safe. Okay, good. And the demons? Yeah, go. Dr. Isaac Delaney. Okay. Who is he? What's his deal? I was hoping you could tell me. I'm on it. Just give me a few. Oh, and before I forget, you left that tracker from Tombstones at my place. I'll drop it at Dr. Octavius' lab. I'll let you know what I find on Delaney. Okay, so this station collects overflow data from all the others. Yeah, God forbid we waste Oscorp's server space. Anyway, do me a favor and make sure it's running smoothly, or everything these stations do is for nothing. This isn't nearly enough server space. It's close to overloading. That'll trigger a purge, and everything Harry has will be lost. I can't let that happen. Wait, ESU has a backup server near here they never use. That can handle the excess data. But I'll need to realign the transmission dishes to make a link from here to there. Fast. The active receiver's easy to find. Just have to get up there. Okay, now to find another link in the array. Got it. Just have to keep doing that.
What's taking up all that space on Harry's servers? Looked like DNA sequencing, but that seems beyond the scope of the research stations. Focus, Pete. It won't matter what's on the server if it all gets erased. Getting close. Should be in view of the ESU server now. Got it. Now I can initiate the data transfer if I hurry. Let's see. Looks good. Hmm. Looks good. Let's see. This is for all the marbles. It's working! Everything stored successfully. Should be fine until I have Norman assign Harry some more server space. And he'll be glad to when he sees what the stations have been doing. Hey, do you have time to check something out for me? No, but if you ask nicely. Just got a call about a suspicious looking box on a rooftop in Hell's Kitchen. I could call in the bomb squad, but if it's just some kid's science project... Yeah, I know. Budget crisis, yada yada yada. So... Uh, will you... please... check it out? There's the magic word. I hope it's some kid's science project. Man, I miss these days. School projects are so much easier than real-life projects. Message from Doc. Sorry to call so late. My mind's bursting with ideas. We've been thinking too small, Peter. Why replace missing limbs with facsimiles when we can improve upon them? People who've lost an arm understandably want it back, but we can give them something better. The human body doesn't need to be our default. We can go so far beyond it. Just some thoughts to conjure with. Doc's really giving it both barrels. If he doesn't burn himself out. Hmm, looks military grade. Weird. Spider Man, so you found one of my recon points. Who is this? Wrong question. The correct one is can you stop the bombs I've planted? Mystery Man's got recon points spread all over the city.
Black Cat's been here. She was doing this in person the first time I caught her. Or did she catch me? This can't just be some elaborate flirtation. Hasn't she heard of dating apps? She's up to something. Found you. That's Ty Stone's place. And it's full of priceless art. You're playing with fire, Felicia. But I guess that's how you roll. Myself. Peter, I spoke to Miles' mother, and she loved the idea of him working here. Oh, the poor woman's grieving herself while trying to be strong for her son. She needs some time to just grieve. And he needs to see that life's still worth living. That was a very thoughtful suggestion, Peter. The kind that would have made Ben proud. Halloween party. Guess I don't have to change. Delaney's dressed as one of my greatest foes. Let's find out which one. Delaney is here somewhere. I have to find him before Lee does. Hey, look at us! The Spider Bros! Check out my moves! Dude, look at the white spider. Did you get that suit at the dollar store? <laughs> The lizard in the lab coat. Hey, look, it's Spider Boy. Isn't some one of your nemesis? We got to uh, fight. Maybe later. Oh, what's the matter, Spider Whip? You afraid of my mighty horn? Hey, who? Hey, oh, what are you? Come on. Fight! Kick his ass, Spider-Man! What the hell? Oh, snap! Oh, my
it easy. J just tell me what you want. This is a joke, right? Those aren't real guns. Back, now! <clears throat> Let him go! Keep your head down! Everybody okay? Yeah. Good. Uh, happy Halloween. How about some mood lighting? Where'd they take Delaney? There's Dr. Delaney. Where are you taking me? recently began working with someone in an Oscorp lab. How do, you, how do you know that? We don't have much time, Isaac. Tell me his name. Show's over, Lee! Apparently the show's not over. His name, Dr. 
Dr. Morgan Michaels. Thank you. No! That's all of them. Gotta find Lee. Yuri, I need your help. I've got reports of shots fired at ESU. Yeah, that's me. I'll explain later. But right now, you need to find a Dr. Morgan Michaels. Martin Lee's coming after him. Copy that. Spider-Man, who is this Dr. Michaels? I think he's the head scientist on this Devil's Breath project. Did you find him? Yes and no. Sable says they have him under protection at a safe house somewhere in the city, but they won't tell me where. I thought you guys were working together. So did I. Okay. I have an idea on how to find him. I'll let you know if it works. Hey, did you find Dr. Delaney at the party? Yeah, but so did Lee. Oh no, what happened? Lee corrupted him and made him kill himself. That's horrible. We have to stop this guy. We will. Before Delaney died, he gave Lee a name. Morgan Michaels. Morgan Michaels? Who is he? Not sure, but I bet he works on the Devil's Breath project. Have you learned anything from that Devil's Breath file? Yes, yeah, get this. A few years ago, Osborne came to Fisk and asked him to build a lab, but to keep it hidden from regulators. Secret lab? For Devil's Breath? If it's as dangerous as we think it is, I can see why. Where's the lab? It's not in the file. Osborne made Fisk destroy all records of it. All I have are invoices from Osborne's personal account to Fisk Construction. Knowing Fisk, he kept the invoices around for blackmail material on the mayor. Everything leads back to Norman Osborne. I guess it's time to pay him a visit. I doubt he's gonna tell you anything. Wasn't planning to ask. <sighs> I got a motor. Hey, 
Howard? I think I found one of Pidgey's cousins. Dusty Gray Flex? Might have just left a stain on my suit? Clarence. Guy's a little devil, <laughs> but he's a charmer. Give him a pat on the head and point him towards feet. He'll find his way. No problem. I'll do the same for any others I find. That's how I can get into Norman's office. Can't get in there without shutting down some security systems. But if they see me, they'll put the whole place on lockdown. I should be able to hack into the security network modules from the outside. There are the network cables. Just need to follow them to the security module. There we go, a security module. Looks like there's four of these around the building. That should make things easier. What the hell? Security teams, call in. Sable Team Alpha standing by. Looks like an electrical problem. Copy that. Keep an eye on the exterior while we try to track down the issue. Just when I thought it would be easy. All stable teams. Looks like we have some sort of software problem. We're calling in a specialist. Copy that. Continuing exterior sweep. There's the second module. What? All agents. Someone's taking control of one of our subsystems. Initiating Delta Protocol. Man, everybody's got drones these days. Stable teams, I need a status report. Exterior sweep negative. We are all clear. Still look like a software issue? We don't know. We're evaluating. Please maintain current alert level. Okay, just two more modules. Attention all stable teams. There's a small possibility we have a trespasser on site. We're analyzing data now. Stay vigilant. Damn it. Another subsystem is going offline. I need a team to scan the 85th floor exterior. Copy control. Bird inbound. Gotta move. Hi, MJ. A little busy right now. I'll be quick. Listen, I got a lead on Charles Standish's location. I think if I can get to him, I can make him talk. He knew about Dr. Delaney. He probably knows about Morgan Michaels as well. Okay, just don't do anything crazy. Speaking of crazy, gotta find that last module. There's the last one. Now I can get into Norman's office and hopefully find out more about Morgan Michaels and Devil's Breath. Exterior sweep negative. Should we go on lockdown? Not yet. Mr. Osborne is in the middle of an important call, but keep tracking. There must be someone out there. Hold on. Switching to a secure line. I'm way ahead of you, Wilson. I had my people go through all your files. If you try to expose our business arrangement, it'll be your word against mine. And I'm not the one behind bars right now. Wait, is Norman talking to Wilson Fisk? Neo statue. What are you talking about? The Neo statue from the auction house. They must be talking about that file MJ found. Jackpot. GR-27. Hmm. Dr. Morgan Michaels is the chief scientist, but the location of the lab is redacted. AI-controlled CRISPR? If that actually works, it could cure any genetic disease. 
Cystic fibrosis? Huntington's? This is crazy. Creepy. Whoa. GR-27 is devil's breath. It's designed to cure diseases. But in its current form, it's like a bioweapon. Dr. Michaels keeps the only sample with him at all times. That's why Lee wants him. We find Michaels, we find Devil's Breath. Hey Pete, what's up? MJ, get this. Devil's Breath wasn't designed to be a weapon. It's a treatment for genetic disorders. But its current form is wildly imperfect. In trying to fix the body, it rips it apart. We need to locate Dr. Michaels. I don't trust Sable to contain something this deadly. I may have a lead on that. Charles Standish is being held at Sable's Central Park compound. If anyone knows Michaels' location, it'll be Oscorp CFO. I'm trying to reach him now. Reach him? That place is crawling with guards. How are you trying to reach him? Very, very quietly. Gotta go, partner. Sneaking into a Sable compound? That could go bad fast. I should head to Central Park. Looks like Doc checked in. Peter, I've had an epiphany. It's all about the mind. Take me, for example. A mind of unlimited potential shackled to a tired, old body. Think of what that mind could achieve if it were freed. In developing our neural interface, we need to think beyond replicating the tired putterings of our physical forms. Instead, reach into imagination and possibility. Reach into the mind. I've never heard... Where are you, MJ? Crap. Reach him? That place is crawling with guards. How are you trying to reach him? Very, very quietly. Gotta go, partner. Standish is somewhere in there. Gotta get past that guard. Time to see if these lures Pete gave me work. That gap in the fence looks promising. Just need to distract the guard. Whose bright idea was it to put a circuit board in a fence? What was that? Gotta move. Now. Gonna check on our house guest. Stay here. Copy. House guest. Must be Standish. He's here somewhere. I need to draw him away from the stairs. What the? What's that? Demons are killing anyone related to Devil's Breath. Standish is in real danger. Got it. Time to move. Standish. I knew it. I've got to get to that tent. must know something about Dr. Michaels. Crap. Generator tripped. I won't distract him for long. How's it looking? 
Second. Convoy gonna be ready? Five by five. As soon as boss gives the word, we'll get Michael's move to the new safe house. They're moving him. Have to find out where before we lose our shot. Continuing. Control, I heard something. Running a sweep. units. He carries the only sample of Devil's Breath. I will not be responsible for pandemic. What was that? Looks important. Safe houses. If Dr. Michaels is in one of these, Standish might know which one. There's Standish's tent. Can't believe Michael's just carries Michael's just carries devil's breath around with him. Osborne doesn't trust anyone else's Again? What's up with these lights? Control. Charles Standish? Holy crap! Charles, where is Dr. Morgan Michaels? Lee sent you. Didn't he? No. Okay. He wants to kill me? You tell him to do it. Do it himself. I'm not with the demons. I'm not with Sable. I'm a reporter. And I want to see Lee stopped. Just like you. Watson. I've heard your byline. Sable won't listen to me. She has Michaels in the Bowery. They're moving him to a new safe house tomorrow at noon. But she's totally ignoring Grand Central. Grand Central? The demons were talking about it when they held me. They're going there to get... To get what, Charles? What do the demons need to get at Grand Central? <laughs> what the... Oh, what that the was hell? not a Sable guy. Definitely not a Sable guy. Sorry, Charlie. Okay, time to Wait, go. No, he knows something. That was maybe the most awkward swing of my life. MJ is not happy. Hey, okay, another thing. Sorry, Charlie. You knock a man out, destroy my background research, and the best you've got is sorry, Charlie? Is everything a joke to you? What? MJ, no, I, I screwed up. It, it was a tension breaker. Tension breaker, right. You know, this is exactly why we broke up. I 
thought we broke up so you could focus on your career. We broke up because you wouldn't stop treating me like a baby. Don't do this, MJ. Don't do that, M... Okay, be careful in here, Pete. This station analyzes hazardous chemicals. And basically trying to figure out how to counteract them if they ever got out into the world, which... <coughs> Hopefully, they never will. Oh no. Someone broke in and stole a volatile rocket propellant. And they must have cracked the container because it's leaking. From the timestamp on the security cameras, it just happened. I need to get it back. My spider bots are still just prototypes, but this is a good time to test one. Its sensors can follow the chemical trail. Better than me swinging up on the thief. If he freaks out and drops the hydrazine, he'll blow up half a block. Gotta find a quiet place to deploy the spider bot. Okay, little guy. Let's find where the chemical dripped and vacuum it up before it makes someone sick. Not only is Minnie me cleaning up the spills, it's leading me right to the thief. Thief's hiding in crowds. I'll disperse him with a subsonic blast. Won't hurt anyone, but it's super annoying. Lucky this stuff's only dangerous over a long exposure. Or if it combusts. Maybe. Maybe not. End of the trail. He's in this crowd. Time to smoke him up. He's running. Gotta wrap him up with a web burst. Got him. Now to get the fuel back. How's it going? Got it. Now I just need to return the fuel to the station. This little spider bot's useful. If I can ever find a way to make him cost effective, they'd be a big help. Chemicals back where it belongs, I beefed up the station's security, and sent Yuri the camera footage to convict the thief. Not a bad day's work. This is one station that was already earning its keep. It should be safe from being shut down, especially now that the chemicals are locked away. Okay, I'm back. So, our breakup. I thought we broke up so you could focus on your career. We broke up because you wouldn't stop treating me like a baby. Don't do this, MJ. Don't do that, MJ. Oh, that's too dangerous, MJ. I may not have super spider powers, but I'm not made out of glass. You snuck into the middle of an armed military... You know what? Can we not do this right now? Please? Did you learn anything about Dr. Michaels? <sighs> Fine. <sighs> Michaels is in the Bowery somewhere. Sable's moving him tomorrow at noon. Awesome. Anything else? Was he saying something about Grand Central before I jumped in? He was... <sighs> no. It was nothing. Listen, I gotta go, Peter. Filing deadline. Peter. That's how you know she's still mad. Peter. Nice work, Mr. Superhero. Man, I'm worked up. Gotta blow off some steam on patrol. Fran got this sexy Spider Girl costume, and it really spices things up. Know what I'm saying? Huh. I most certainly do. J. Jonah Jameson is not one to be judgmental, but you, sir, are an extremely disturbed man. Goodbye. It's getting away. While I'm here, I should examine the transmitter MJ found.
if I can reverse engineer this, it should track Tombstone's shipments. That should do it. Time for a test run. Okay, just gotta follow the signal. Should lead to whatever it is Tombstone's moving. Tombstone. This guy's the mother of all headaches. Impermeable skin plus zero morals equals bad time. Hope running a chop shop's the worst thing he's up to. There. That truck. Out for a Sunday drive? Biker gang down. Let's see what's in that truck. Uh, chemical containers. But they're scrubbed clean. Looks like they came from the Alchemax plant in Harlem, but what was in them? And that sound means the end of our lightning round. Should head to Alchemax when I get a chance and find out what was in those barrels. Tombstone's up to something. Probably illegal. Definitely dangerous. away.
Folks, you've no doubt heard about the riot at Empire State University. But this is not your usual toxic mix of underage drinking, entitled millennials, and hormones run rampant. Authorities are keeping a tight lid on the situation, but my sources tell me the demons drugged the students, turning them into deadly rage machines. What has become of our fair city, ladies and gentlemen, when we have to fear our own children, our neighbors, our husbands and wives? Be vigilant, be on guard, and keep a close eye on that barista with the man bun making your skinny latte, or you could be next! Hey, sorry I'm late. Morning, Parker. Or is it evening? That doesn't matter. Okay, the amperage. Check the neurosensors, would you? We need a faster response time. On it. Try to get it under three milliseconds. Okay, looks like I could optimize this power relay. Nice. Okay, what next? Looks like some impedance in this neurosensor circuit. Finished. Signal to noise is out of whack. A new signal processor should reduce lag. I got it, Doc. 2.8 milliseconds. Good work, Peter.
I'd call that a mild success. I'd call that unbelievable. Do you need some help? Yes. Doctor, what's going on? It's become that obvious. My doctors call it a degenerative neurological disorder. Probably caused by overexposure to toxic chemicals in my reckless youth. Sorry, is, is, is there anything I can do? You already are. The worst part is, it only affects the muscles. The mind continues to work, but... It can no longer do. You're the only one who knows, Peter. I'd like to keep it that way. Of course. Uh, if you'd like to seek a position with more of a future... I, I came here to work for you because of what you've got up here. And that's not going anywhere. So neither am I. Oh, Peter, before I forget, I read the most fascinating article. Outlines possible next steps for the neural interface. I'll take a look. Thanks, Doc. Doc loves these things. He used them in grad school when he had to manipulate radioactive isotopes. Says seeing them keeps him humble. Man, I remember the first day I interviewed here. Showed up with stains on my shirt, ten minutes late from stopping a mugging. Still can't believe Doc hired me. Hope he doesn't regret it now. Peter is starting to suspect. He hides it, but I can tell. He's seen my twitch. Noticed the decay of my fine motor control. Well, I'm the one who wanted a genius for an assistant. Of course he knows. I just need more time. My work can improve millions of lives. Save millions of lives. A direct interface with the basal ganglia. Exciting, but risky. I don't know, Doc. You'll need a gallium silk array to make it work. Even then, odds of injury are pretty high. Gallium! Genius! Never mind the risks. We'll work them out in time. Doc's really sick. At this rate, he'll lose control of his motor functions within a year. And if we're not careful, an intracranial implant could make things even worse. Even alter his personality. We need to proceed carefully. Hmm. Um, Doc, I'm sorry. My aunt just texted. No worries, Peter. I was thinking of taking a break myself. As soon as I check our telemetry data. Thanks. I'll be back in a few hours. Hi, May. Let me guess. Running late? Nope, I'm actually on my way now. Have you heard from Miles? No, but his mother said he was coming, so... Good. I'll be there soon. Bye.
units. Officers are under fire from mass hostile. Response needed north of Houston. Spider-Man, I could really use your help. My roommate's been missing since the Halloween party. Okay, got a name? A last known location? His name's Carlos. I ran a facial recognition search across social media. Here, let me text you what I found. Smart. What's your name? Philip Chang. Okay, Philip. I'll find Carlos. If you get info on anyone else who's missing, let me know. Okay, looks like I need to find the location in this picture. I see the Statue of Liberty, so it's gotta be way south of here. Not Close to the university. Probably the financial district. Philip, I'm headed to where the picture was taken. How recent is it? Time stamped half an hour ago. Nice heuristics. You did that facial tracker on your own? Yeah, it's my thesis project. I'm hoping it'll help me land a job. If this works, you can count on me for a reference. This would be way south of ESU. Probably the financial district. That's a keeper. Looks like the spot over there. These students are acting like the ones at the Halloween party. Lee must have corrupted them. I better end this fast. That's the last of them. Everything was fine, and then... so much anger. I couldn't think straight. It's over now. Though I'd stay off the internet for a while. Not getting much coverage. I should look for more towers to activate. Units, 
Officers are in pursuit of multiple hostile vehicles. Officers needed in Little Italy. Demons are on a suicide run. There's a bomb in the front car. What are you doing here? Oh, we got a fighter. You just made your last mistake, punk. What the? Does it seriously take this many guys to rob a teenager? You hurt? You're Spider-Man. You're the amazing Spider-Man. You're the spectacular Spider-Man. And a few other choice adjectives Jameson uses. Look, that was really brave. But next time, leave the fighting to the pros, okay? Uh, okay, but what if there aren't any around? Well, you can't just go swinging at someone twice your size. I mean, don't get me wrong. I fight guys stronger than me all the time, but when I do it, I have... Oh, like that time you fought Rhino on the Brooklyn Bridge? That was so awesome. Perfect <laughs> example. If the other guy's bigger, you gotta be quicker. Okay? Okay, but that's... It's easy for you to say. I, sorry, I just can't do what you do. All right, put him up. Seriously? Yeah, come on. First thing. Don't let the adrenaline get to you. Breathe slow, breathe deep, relax. Hip square to your opponent. Let them make the first move. Now use your feet, and when they go off balance, look for an opening. Boom. Like that? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Okay, Not only this time, just let me have it. Right on the jock, okay? I can <clears throat> Oh, sh... S sorry No, 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 <laughs> it's all good. You keep that up and, uh, you'll be fine. All right. Lesson's over. Gotta go. Hey, uh, thanks. You know, anytime. I just punched Spider-Man. Shelter should be just ahead. Yo, Miles, what's up? Bro, you're not gonna believe this. I just met Spider-Man. What? That's crazy. Hey, did you show him our hacking app? Oh, man. I totally forgot. Oh, you suck. He totally would've bought it off you, and then we'd be, like, famous. Yeah, I'll show him next time. I, I gotta go. I promised my mom I wouldn't be late. Uh, cool. Later. Uh-oh. Everyone have their IDs out and ready for inspection. Are you kidding me? It's gonna take forever. That drone wasn't watching. I could jump the fence. Have you seen him? Wow, that was too easy. I can't believe Sable systems are unsecure. Maybe I'll send an anonymous tip. Think I'll stay clear of those guys. Okay, hacking app. Don't fail me now. Okay. Okay, time to move.
<clears throat> okay, let's see. I can go under the gate on the left, or over the scaffolding to the right. Mom? Hi, honey. Did you make it to the thief shelter okay? Uh, yeah. Almost there. Miles, you don't have to work at that shelter, you know. You said I did. No, I gave you a choice. Yeah, and I chose this over more therapy. I mean, it was helpful. The guy said everyone grieves in their own way. This is mine. Okay. Sorry. Mom. Yeah? Just because I don't want to talk about it doesn't mean I don't love you. Love you so much. We'll get through this, okay? I gotta go. I'll call you on my way home. I'm seeing, seeing them dead demon faces. And you know what? I'll just, just keep breathing. I'll, I'll be back soon, Mr. Punch. Hey, hey, Miles. Pete. Hey, um, sorry I'm late, man. Oh, no, no. I'm just glad you're here. All right, so, um, what can I do to help? Why don't you start just by, uh, Getting comfortable with the place. Uh, meet a few people. You know what? Everybody loves coffee. Coffee? All right. And I'll be back in a little while to check on you. Is that cool? Yeah. Oh, don't worry about Mr. Hodges. He doesn't bite. Much. You sure? Coffee? Thanks. Need help? Not unless you know what the hell a quark is. It's a subatomic particle. You know, the building block of protons, neutrons, hadrons? Subatomic? It fits. Good one, kid. Piece of junk. <clears throat> oh, hell! Damn hunk of junk! Uh, you mind if I take a look? Eh? Oh, we have a couple of CRTs at school. I know how to fix these when they're... CR what? No, no, you just gotta smack it. Got time. Get it. Go! Or, could be a loose coax cable. <sighs> all right, all right. Be my guest, huh, Mr. Smarty Pants? Hey, please, go ahead. Tributes continue to pour in for Officer Jefferson Davis, the hero killed in the City Hall bombing, as reports emerged that he used his own body to shield others in his last moments of life. Hey, hey new kid. I'm empty wife, here. Rio and son Miles, as well as brother Aaron. In addition to the hero. Man didn't do nothing heroic except get himself blown up. Hey, Ernie. I see you've met Miles. He's gonna be helping out around here. You may have heard of his father, Jefferson Davis. Pretty great that even though he's got a lot of stuff going on right now, he decided to come and volunteer. Don't you think? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, thanks. Uh, listen, Cat, I'm, I'm... Sorry about your dad. Come on, Miles. Let's see if Ant-Man needs a hand in the kitchen. Hey, May. I gotta take off, but, uh... 
Brought some help for you. Hi, Miles. Nice to see you. Well, grab an apron, wash your hands, and I'll show you around. Hey, hey Peter. Um, thanks for that back there. Of course. Almost noon. Sable should be moving Dr. Michaels. Better get to the Bowery and locate him. I'm afraid our computers are a bit outdated. Well, that's cool. I might be able to improve the... I'm heading to the Bowery to make sure Michaels gets to his new safe house. You know, safely. I wouldn't do that. Silver Sable made it clear you are not welcome. Yeah, well, what's she gonna do? Shoot me? Honestly, 50-50 chance. Ah, fine. I'll be in the neighborhood, but not too close. Just in case. We're ready for you, Dr. Michaels. Is that the devil's breath? It's called GR-27, not... Just be careful. In the wrong hands, this could... Don't worry. We're the best in the world. I feel better already. Code 381. Package is on the move. This way, Dr. Michaels. What the hell is that? Yeah, sure you do. Yuri, I'm in pursuit of Martin Lee. I think he's got Dr. Michaels and the Devil's Breath. Copy that. More units coming your way. He took Michaels alive, so that's good. Probably so we can force him to make more Devil's Breath. I have to stop that truck, tank, whatever. Clear the guys in the trucks before I go after Lee. Stop 
shooting! Target lost. Reacquire. He is coming. He is coming, and he will destroy all sinners! Sorry! be honest, I was hoping to bring you here. My abilities lend me a certain persuasiveness. I've been watching you. I was waiting for you at City Hall. You never came. Where were you? Is this real or in my mind? It was a shame so many had to die with no heroes to save them. Officer saved your life, didn't he? He was here because of you. And Norman wanted to use him. A futile gesture, in the end. And where was Norman during all this? Slinking away like a rat. He knew what was going to happen, and he fled. Norman is a hidden cancer on this city. He must be excised with no trace of his corruption to return. Norman hides behind his mask of lies. I will break it apart and drag him into the light. Put on the mask. Become one of us. Thanks, but no thanks! One way or the other, you will join me. Uh oh All the souls you've lost! The innocent victims you couldn't save. Martin, their blood is on your hands! You can stop Osborne. You have so much strength. I can give you will. Their bodies filled the gutter, and you did nothing! I can't save everyone! What's one life? A simple trade. One life for a city of souls. You defend Osborne while he sits in his ivory tower? This isn't real. Show me your true strength.
Are you okay? Did they take it? Yes. How worried should I be? Very. You're a popular guy. Where is the serum? I'm gone. The Diskoya. So-called superhuman. You think you save people, but you just make it worse. This is your fault. My fault? He was under your protection. You really need two of those? <laughs> Stop! We need to brief Mr. Osborne now. I'll go with her. Thank you. I'll remember this. Yuri, tell me you've got a lead on Martin Lee's location. We have footage from a guy at a coffee shop. Looks like he hopped into a black sedan after the crash. Black sedan, great. Let me finish. We have a partial plate. And one of my patrol guys just found a matching plate. Black sedan in a parking lot near Canal and Hudson. You're a good cop, Yuri. I'm on my way. Spider-Man. Hello? Is this working? Dr. Michaels? How are you calling? Borrowed on one of Sable's radios. Listen, transit hubs are the most likely release points for Devil's Breath. Airports, bus terminals, train stations. It'll spread like wildfire from there. Why the hell is Oscorp developing a bioweapon in the city? Shouldn't this be in an Arctic bunker? Devil's Breath is personal for Norman. It's been his obsession for decades. The project breaks every state and federal regulation on the books, but he doesn't care. If the city finds out, he can kiss re-election goodbye. Never mind re-election. He'd be tried in The Hague for war crimes. Why are you telling me all this? Aren't you just as culpable as Norman? Yes. Completely. But Lee's actions have been a wake-up call. We've ignored the project's risk for too long. I trust you, Spider-Man. You're the only one trying to do the right thing. Please, protect the city from our mistakes. <laughs> 